Welcome back to the Ed Show. Thanks for watching tonight. We are just four days away from a government shutdown unless both parties can agree on a deal to cover spending levels from Friday through October. Under Republican House rules, they have to post the bill three days in advance, which means they really only have 24 hours left to get this done or shut down the government. And here's the best part. Democratic Senator Chuck Schumer says Speaker Boehner has already cut a deal. He, to he hasn't told uh, the Tea Party any of that yet. The news came after President Obama spent the weekend trying to head off a shutdown, calling congressional leaders on both sides of the aisle. Today, the president invited them to the White House tomorrow to hammer this out. Republicans led by Boehner, the speaker, responded with a battery of press releases today. Here's what Boehner said about reports of a deal to cut $33 billion. He says, I've made clear that the $33 billion is not enough. If the government shuts down, it will be because Senate Democrats failed to do their job. Not long after that, Schumer had a statement of his own. He said Boehner's ruling a, running a con on the Tea Party. Quote, the Speaker has already agreed to this number, $33 billion, privately. As long as he continues to negotiate privately, it's okay by us if he needs to strike a different pose publicly. And just tonight, this in a few moments ago, uh, a top GOP aide told NBC News Republicans have a new stopgap spending measure ready to go to hold off a shutdown for one week. You might remember it was House Republican leader Eric Cantor who assured the Tea Party just last week there would be no more stopgap spending measures. They lie again. With us tonight, Congresswoman Karen Bass, Democrat of California, who sits on the House Budget Committee. Congresswoman, good to have you with us tonight. Uh, Thank you. What, what do you make of this latest news that NBC News is hearing from a GOP aide that Republicans have got a new stopgap measure to keep the country running? What do you make of that? Well, first of all, I heard what you did, but I, but I have some additional information. I heard that it's a stopgap measure for one week, but they're going to put enough money in to fund the Defense Department for the rest of the year. So we will fund the Defense Department, but we're going to cut everything else, or we're only going to have uh, the, the measure in place for one week. I think it's pretty crazy. It sounds like a caucus that's in disarray. So uh, Senator Schumer apparently is calling the bluff of Speaker Boehner over on the House side. And th this, uh, in your opinion, this puts Boehner kind of in a tight spot with the Tea Party, doesn't it? Well, I think it absolutely does. As you know, I'm a part of the freshman class, and 87 of my colleagues are Republicans, and uh, more than half of them are members of the Tea Party. And you know they've come under tremendous pressure. You've certainly covered it. And so the question is, will the Republican leadership act in a responsible manner and fund the government until the end of the year? That's the appropriate thing to do. We have many pressing issues to deal with. We should stop this silliness, frankly. What do you make of the $33 billion? Boehner is saying out there today that 33 billion is not enough. There's a lot of well, Democrats across the country that are saying, why did you agree to 33 billion in the first place? But <laughs> if that is, I don't know where you stand on that, but if that is the number, what do you make of Boehner's position? Uh, well, I mean, I think that it, it's ridiculous what has happened, and I know you know, that a number of the um, Republicans agreed, make it, made a campaign prom promise to hold on to that number of $100 billion in cuts that they were going to have. So $33 billion, I think what they really want is more like $71 billion. It's really ridiculous because it's a number that's not based on anything. And the top economic experts, including John McCain's advisor, says that if we actually actually did what the Republicans were calling for, we, you know, the economy is recovering, we would slide completely back and it might even um, amount to 700,000 jobs that are lost. So it's a crazy thing to do right now. What does this signal to the uh, American people when Cantor comes out and says there won't be any more stopgap spending, yet you tell us tonight uh, that the military spending is going to go to the end of the year and they're right. going to, to, to come up with, with more funds to run the government for a little bit longer. Well, I think it, it says that there's a conflict, but I am certainly hoping that in the next 24, 48 hours that they will come to their senses, that they will have a deal that will take funding of the government until the end of the fiscal year, because as you know, Ed, we still have the overall budget to deal with, plus we have to make a decision about raising the debt ceiling. So we have three different levels that we need to be concerned about, and for us to be spending time or wasting time on this point alone, I think is really 
uh, shameful. And why aren't the Democrats, and maybe you think they are, out there making the point that these cuts are about the worst thing you can do in a fragile economy and an economic recovery? Well, I actually think, and, and thanks to you and your show, I do think that the Democrats have been doing that all over the place. I mean, let me just give you a couple of examples. You know, um, Ryan is going to come for, is going to call tomorrow for rehauling the tax code, but yet they want to cut the IRS. I mean, their cuts would result in compromising the safety of our water and our air. Uh, you're talking about tens of thousands of teachers and firefighters that are laid off. They create such disdain for the public workforce, but what they don't tell the public is you're talking about firefighters and teachers and so I think Democrats have been all over the place on all different levels of the media social media TV radio talking about the cuts because we really need to paint a picture for America right. of the type of American that the Republicans want Congresswoman Karen Bass I want to live in. you bet Congresswoman Karen Bass good to have you with us tonight thanks so much